31 days, 31 videos. That's what we're doing this month, the whole month of August. Even while I'm at work, even while I'm sitting around doing nothing, even on the weekends. Here's today's. Enjoy it. Face it, it's as hard to find as a black nano on a black lamppost. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a single episode. Hey y'all, how you doing? How's your day going? John Broyles, Cash and Cub Master here. And this time around, let's talk about letterbox caches, letterbox hybrids. Hmm, they're actually kind of interesting. They're a type of cache that sprang from a different treasure hunting game. They came from letterboxing. Now, letterboxers, as they're called, you know, the equivalent of us geocachers, they hide a small container, sometimes it's a little bit bigger than a small, containing a stamp, a logbook, and an ink pad. You have to have an ink pad for the stamp. Now, what the letterboxer would do when they find one is they would take the stamp out of the letterbox, letterbox, stamp their own personal logbook, and then they would get their stamp because letterboxers would also carry their own personal stamp and stamp the logbook of the letterbox. Now, that's how they work. Now, letterboxing is said to have started in England in about 1854 when a guide over at Dartmoor National Park left a jar containing his business card and also it had an invitation in for people to leave theirs. And down the line, over time, folks began leaving postcards, self-addressed stamp postcards or notes in the jar in the hopes that they would be mailed back to the to them thus the name letterbox which is british for mailbox okay now instead of coordinates letterboxes actually have clues that tell them how to get to and how to find the cache now when it became part of geocaching when we latched onto it said oh Thank you. We use the coordinates. A lot of us also use the clues that are listed in the cache description, the letterbox description. The combination of the two became a letterbox hybrid. Now, like I said, there are posted coordinates. Some of them actually have the clues to find the letterbox. And they also have a logbook, a stamp and ink pad, which please for a letterbox, please leave the stamper in the letterbox. Because the stamp pad's not swag. Neither is the stamper. And they also would have actual swag and trackables. So let me know how many you have happened to find down there in the description. And let's go hunt some. If you happen to like what you see, to learn a little bit little something, go ahead and hit that like button. If you happen to think I'm ugly and Mama Shelly dressing me funny, hit that dislike button. And as always, Hulk, smash on that subscribe button. And then ding that little bell right next to it so you never miss a single thing that I pull out of my hat. Until the next time, I'm John Broyles, the Cash and Cub Master. It's been another edition of DNF Magazine. We'll see you on the trails.